How's it going boys and girls? My name is Kawi and welcome back to the Care Club. In today's video, I want to cover the topics of building an automatic food farm because I don't see many people using this. The benefits of having an automatic farm is so you can have better items to sell and better food to recover your health. If you are struggling to wrap your head around building this, then this video is for you. Be sure to give a like and subscribe and say hi in the comment section. So with that, let's get started. So the materials that we need to build a food farm are listed here. Yes, there is a lot of materials you need for it to work. The industrial stuff is basically for players who have most of the levels unlocked. If you haven't unlocked them, you'll have to work on unlocking them first and then come back to this later. The first thing you need to know is how to use industrial items properly because I frequently find people setting it up wrong and it produces nothing for them. These are the different kinds of industrial machines you can have and you need to put different things inside of them for it to work. For example, the industrial sawmill, you need to put wood and coals inside and it'll turn that into planks. Since we're talking about food, the two items we are interested in is the food processor and the industrial oven. What food processor does is it turns normal food items into some kind of food. For example, I can turn three weeds into one dough. And the industrial oven is used for cooking anything that is not cooked yet. For example, I can turn my uncooked dough into a piece of bread. To make food processor work, the first thing we need to do is select which type of food we want to make. All you need to do is open up the food processor menu and click on one of the food items on the left hand side. I'm going to select the dough because that is the easiest thing to make on the list. The second step, we need to set up the input. We will start by placing conveyor belts at the entrance. The next step is to create the wheat farm that will automatically put the wheat onto the conveyor belt. I will start by placing 6 wheat totem next to the conveyor belt and then right behind the totems, I planted 3 rows of wheat. Any more than this, the totem won't be able to collect the wheat and it will be a waste of space. Now all you need to do is wait for the wheat to grow and the totem will automatically place the wheat onto the conveyor belt, turning the wheat into dough. The last thing we need to do is place an industrial chest at the end of the food processor so the dough won't just fall onto the ground and get despawned. Now of course the dough is not cooked yet because the food processor is only the first step in making food. If you want to turn the dough into bread, we need to set up the oven so that we can turn that dough into a yummy bread. If you don't have an oven, then you will have to use a furnace to cook your meal until you have an oven. To set up the oven is very easy. The oven only works when there is cold inside. So the first thing we need to take care of is putting coals inside the oven automatically. To do that, we'll place two pieces of conveyor belt at the entrance and then right next to the conveyor belt, we'll place one coal totem. Whenever the coal is spawn, it will be placed onto the conveyor belt and into the oven. The last thing we need to do is replace the industrial chest from the food processor with conveyor belts and connect it to the oven's input. At the end of the oven, we'll put the industrial chest to collect the breads. So now we have a two-stage setup for the food processor where the first part is turning wheat into dough and the second part is turning the dough into bread. Now if you're happy with just making bread, this is all you will need to know. However, if you want to make other kinds of food like carrot cakes, this setup won't make them because we can't just add carrots and magically turn the dough into a carrot cake. To make one carrot cake, this is what we need to do. First, we need to grow the wheat and turn it into dough, which we have already done. Second, we need to grow carrots and wash them. Third, we have to combine the dough and the carrots together to get a carrot cake batter. Then finally, we have to cook the batter and turn it into a carrot cake. This is as complicated as it gets when it comes to cooking. If you can build this farm, you can build any food farm you like. So the first thing we need to do is remove the oven part and I'm also going to remove the ground right at the end of the dough making process so that the dough will fall into the void. For now, don't worry about where the dough will go. It is important that we have that hole there. We'll start by building conveyor belts pointing straight towards the hole so that all the carrots will fall inside of it as well. Then we place 7 carrot totems next to the conveyor belts, as well as planting 3 rows of carrot seeds. So this process is going to give us some oily carrots. To clean them, we'll need to replace some conveyor belts with an industrial washing station near the hole. Finally, we place one coal totem anywhere along the conveyor belt to power the washing station. So at this point, we have successfully built the dough and the carrot process. The next thing we need is to combine the two ingredients together. To do that, we need to build the next part one block below the farm in one straight line starting from the hole we made earlier. When the dough and carrot drops, it will drop into the next process. And then we'll lay down a conveyor belt 
followed by a food processor. Then we're going to select the carrot cake batter as recipe. Then the last thing we need to do is place an oven right after the food processor, turning the batter into carrot cakes. Once you have all of this, you got yourself the entire process to make carrot cakes automatically. This setup also works if you want star fruit cakes. All you need to do is replace the carrots with star fruit. The last thing I want to mention, there are limitations as to the types of food you can make. Some recipe cannot be automated because there is no way for you to harvest these ingredients automatically. For example, the berry dough because you cannot automatically harvest berries. Same thing with apple pie, you cannot automatically harvest apple from the tree. These you'll have to manually make them yourself. Now that you know how to make a fully automated food farm, you can have as many carrot cakes or star fruit cakes as you like. You may even get rich off selling them to the merchant or use it to unlock level 60 economy. Or perhaps you just want to invite all your friends and share your cakes with everyone. With this process, you can now enjoy the game more without having to worry about making any more food. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If this helps you out, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. That will help me a lot by letting YouTube know that the video is being helpful to the community and will more likely to recommend my videos to other people. It also gives me extra motivation as well. So thank you boys and girls for watching and I'll see you in the next video in-game or at the Carrot Club. Take care everybody.